Podcast. I want to tell you about the place where I work, Nickerson State Park in Brewster, Massachusetts. Nickerson State Park has been a draw for tourists for over 85 years, with its opening on October 31, 1934. The land had been a private hunting preserve for Roland C. Nickerson. In fact, the park was named after him and his son, Roland C. Nickerson Jr. Some of the Nickerson family is even buried within a small graveyard in the park. This is just one of the many historical sites within the park. Another historical stop would be the bunkhouse chimney from the Civilian Conservation Corps. Many of the trails in the park were cleared by young men based there for three years starting in 1935. They worked for a dollar a day and ended up planting over 88,000 white pine seedlings and constructing roads and facilities throughout the park. It is the Cape's largest campground with over 420 campsites and covering over 2,600 acres. This was the first park in the state to offer camping and recreational facilities. All right guys, so here's the lay of the land. So like I said before, it is about 2,500 acres for the whole park. There are quite a few large kettle ponds that are fully stocked with fish every spring and fall. From the entrance of the park to area seven, which is our farthest camping area, it's about three and a half miles. And there are eight camping areas, area one, two, three, four, five, Area 6, 6X, and 7. So here at Nickerson, we have over 220 campsites. We have everything from tent to trailer camping. Each site comes with a picnic table and a fire pit. Unfortunately, since we only have dry camping in the park, there is no electricity or water on each site. So one of the most popular activities in the park happens to be the Cape Cod Rail Trail, which Nickerson sits right in the middle of. So this is where Nickerson State Park is, and the rail trail goes 12 miles north and 12 miles south. It's a great way to get around Cape Cod if you're looking for a leisurely bike ride on a nice flat surface. It's very popular in the summer, and I highly recommend it. You get to see parts of the Cape that not a lot of people get to see. The park's kettle ponds is one of its largest assets. Thousands of people come to the park seasonally to swim, kayak, sail, and fish. There are four major ponds in the park, including Cliff Pond, Little Cliff Pond, Higgins, and Flax. All ponds are open to recreation and stocked with fish. Now behind me, I have the amphitheater. This is where weekly, the Friends of Nickerson State Park will put on different shows, such as comedy shows, wildlife shows, or even magic shows. Forest recreation is another activity for which many people come to the park. Wildlife viewing in the park is unparalleled to other places on Cape Cod. The environment is a safe haven for many species of wildlife. Turtles are a common sight crossing the roads, and often above Cliff Pond you can see the bald eagles that nest in the summer months. There are miles and miles of trails to explore in the park. There are paved bike trails along with dirt walking trails that double as mountain biking trails. So now we're at the Nature Center. If you want to learn anything about the natural history of Nickerson State Park, or anything about flora and fauna, or just have any general questions, you want to come down here and talk to our interpretive ranger. He does programs all the time, and they're posted in the contact station. If you're interested in coming to visit the park, there is a day use fee from sunrise to sunset, and if you are interested in coming camping, you should reserve your site on reserveamerica.com. We do recommend that you make a reservation for a summer site at least six months ahead of time. The last thing I would like to mention would be the Friends of Nickerson State Park. These are individuals concerned with promoting the wise use of the natural resources and historical features of Nickerson State Park through educational, cultural, and civic activities. The Friends is a volunteer group and their function is to provide a vehicle for public involvement and attract and organize volunteer assistance. In addition, the Friends of Nickerson provide the means for pursuing fundraising and accepting donation to promote further development and improving the park. I hope to see you this coming season and thank you for watching.